Hey there students welcome back to my channel again Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed by the sheer amount of study materials available on internet do you also struggle to find right resources to help you learn and retain information well you are in the right place In this video I'm going to talk about how to choose the correct resources to study I will talk in general Although I'm a medical student, my um, type of resource is very different. But this is for everyone as a student. So if you want, you can take out one notebook or take one pen and paper and write on it because I'm going to tell you four segments on how to know which is the right resources for you. It doesn't matter you're a medical student. It matters if you are a student. For segment, we will talk about um, how to identify your learning style. Okay, so in the paper you can write the first segment. So before we dive into the uh, resources, it's very essential to know and to understand how your learning style is. So are you a visual learner, an auditory learner? or kinesthetic learner you just write on that paper and understanding your learning style it will help you to identify most effective resources for you for example if you're a visual learner you might prefer watching videos looking at diagrams and using flashcards right and on the other hand if you are auditory learner you might prefer listening to lecture podcast or audiobooks and if you're kinesthetic learner you might prefer hands on activities experiments or group projects then second segment we will evaluate the resources available now that we know that how our learning style is let's talk about evaluating resources when you choose a resource you can consider these points first is it relevant to your course or topic is it well organized and easy to follow third uh, does it provide clear explanations and examples that satisfies you or is it up to date and accurate these are four questions you need to ask yourself when you choose a resource for example if you are studying for a math test you might prefer a textbook or online tutorial that provides step by step examples and explanations on the other hand if you if you're studying for a language test you might prefer listening to podcast or watching tv shows in the target language for me personally as a med student i would need interactive video then qbank to have active learning and yeah there is my life sorted so this is how you sort the second segment this is how you identify the resources in the second segment then we talk about the third segment using online resources now in today's digital age there are countless online resources available to help you study here are some popular options first is online textbooks and ebooks because these days everyone is studying from tablet even i use tablet because it's very important the app or the resource i use that only uh, we can access this with uh, a tablet or a mobile phone so mobile phone would be a little smaller so for the bigger screen we use tablet so the second uh, is the study apps and games so there are certain games like using the flash cards um and there are certain study apps that has those flash cards and you can use it as game to retain the information then third is online courses and tutorials that i am using as a med student then last one is obviously it's very common among us is youtube channels and educational videos since not every youtube channel and educational videos are free you can um also use a telegram resource which will be very helpful yeah many teachers have their telegram channels where they are very active with the quiz held every day with the study material they provide 
everything when you're using online resources make sure to evaluate very carefully and consider these following points that i'll be telling you now when using online resources make sure to evaluate them carefully and always consider these three points first is it re reputable and trustworthy how you will know from the reviews of the students also um around you many people will be uh, using certain kind of resources know about it secondly does it provide clear instructions and example this you will get from demo videos almost all the app provide you with demo videos so you can know about it third is it interactive and engaging again with demo videos you can use or if any of your friend is using a certain kind of resource you can just ask them so you can know if the content they are providing is really interactive and engaging then fourth segment and the main segment is to create a study plan without doing that you can't you can't be consistent you can't push through it now that we have talked about choosing the right resource let's talk about creating a study plan and implementing it right so a study plan is basically it's very essential for staying organized and focused here is how you can create one first is identify your goals and objectives so everyone have different kind of goals short term goals for example my goal is to complete the subjects first right i have 19 subjects in my syllabus i need to complete all the 19 subjects and how will i do i will break down my study material into smaller chunks first i will set up my subjects into the short ones then the medium and the bigger the lengthy ones i can schedule my study time after scheduling my study time i can prioritize my important task which one should i take first which one uh, has impact on the particular exam i'm targeting then fifth is reviewing and adjusting the plans regularly so suppose i'm learning one subject to learn that subject i need a plan which chapter i'm going to complete which chapter has most previously year asked question which chapter has more um, content that are used in exams and that carries marks so according to that in a particular subject i'm just giving an example you need to plan in how many days or in how much hours you need to complete to execute those plans and complete it on time you can alter one two days it's fine if nothing goes as per plan but don't sit for one month taking the small subject or don't sit for two months taking the big subject just plan your target your goals keep it in small chunks and complete it then and there in respected time limit you have decided and by following these steps you can create a study plan that helps you to stay on track and it will definitely help to achieve your academic goal. that's it for today's video i hope this is very informative and this is not particularly for the medical students only it is for all the students out there choosing the right resource is very crucial for your effective studying ahead so by understanding your learning style evaluate resources very carefully what you have written in that pen and paper i hope that will be very useful for you i hope you will research about everything and i hope you will get your answers and using the online resources wisely and creating a study plan you can achieve your academic goals and become a very successful student anywhere thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos